Welcome to our first video blog here at Farmstay USA. We will be speaking with Sarah Parker, co-owner of Blind Buck Valley Farmstead in Salem, New York. BBVF, as we affectionately call it, has been a member of Farmstay USA since 2016 when Sarah, her sister, and her mom decided to open the farm to guests. We'll be showing a slideshow of the farm as we chat, so you don't have to imagine everything Sarah describes. Okay, so welcome, Sarah. Thank you and, for having um, me. You're very welcome. So uh, let's start off right from the beginning. Tell us a little bit of history about your farm. Describe your area, um, how long you've been involved, what you do there. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we are located in a little historic town called Salem, New York. It's about three and a half hours from New York City and Boston. So we get a lot of our guests from those major um, cities in upstate New York. And we're kind of situated so that we're the perfect spot if you're looking to go to Manchester, or Southern Vermont, or Saratoga Springs, or Lake George, which are big tourist um, destinations in the area. And so our family owns a 200 acre property that we bought when I was young. I was actually just one when we initially bought just the house and the 3.6 acres that it sits on. And then over time, the rest of the property became available and we ended up purchasing everything. So we're in this beautiful valley flanked by rolling hills and you still have, you know, the access to the, the charming little town of Salem, just kind of a two minute drive away, but you're sort of in a beautiful desolate um, area. And the farmhouse, which we slowly renovated, it's, it's been quite a labor of love, was originally built in 1795 and then expanded to the size it is now in 1805. Um, and then, yeah, over the last about 35 years, we've just been continuing to update it. And as you mentioned, in 2016, we decided to open the doors, to let other people uh, experience it firsthand. So that kind of brings us to where we are now. That's pretty cool. So what does your farm produce? Do you, yeah, what does it grow or what livestock do you have or? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so we, um, we farm in partnership with some larger farms in the area that farm hay and corn and alfalfa. And so about half of our acreage is allocated to that. And then um, the rest of it is just for the farm stay, which um, is a homestead of sorts that we've got a We've got about 25 chickens, we've got some barn cats and some bunnies, and then from about May through October, we become home to a variety of ponies and donkeys and cows that come stay with us and, and pasture with us for the summer from other farms. That's really cool. So do you let your guests collect eggs or... Yeah, inter absolutely. Interact with yeah. The, so the goats. when you rent the house, you get obviously the house and sort of the um, acreage right around the house private to you. Um, everyone that comes and sort of works on the farm day to day uses a separate road. Um, and then guests can sort of explore and involve themselves as much as they want. Um, we do guided farm tours where you can go to the chicken coop, you can pick fresh eggs, um, you can, you know, play with the animals and um, take a little pony ride. Um, so it's really as much or as little as you want to be involved. Um, you can join us for chores, but you definitely don't have to. Um, and yeah, the, the, the eggs are definitely a big wow factor for city folk that have only eaten eggs bought in a store. And, you know, when you taste and see the difference from an egg that was laid within a day or two, they're usually blown away. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, of course. I mean, yes, I know that. So um, in terms of, so people can come and stay, yeah. mostly families or retreats or multi-generational. Um, it's a real the, mix, honestly. Yeah, it's a real mix. Um, you know, we get a lot of families. We get a lot of groups of young families. So, you know, three or four different families because the house is five bedrooms. So it can fit okay. comfortably you know, three or four couples that each have a couple children. Okay. Um, and all of our common spaces are really, you know, ample space. So you don't feel like you're on top of each other. Or you might get one family that's multi-generational, you know, grandparents, their kids, their grandkids. Um, we get a lot of groups of friends that are on ski retreats, 
Uh, we get a lot of bachelor and bachelorette parties, sometimes joint or separate. Um, in those instances, they're usually going to Saratoga in the summer, like the racetrack or, or other things, and they're using this as their, their home base. Um, we've done some business retreats. It really runs the gamut, but a lot of, a lot of families. And so it looks like from your website, you guys also do weddings. We do. Yeah, that was sort of, you know, the weddings and small events just sort of happen from people asking, you know, after staying here, hey, you know, could we host a small wedding? Could we host an event? Um, so we started doing them and then realized, you know, we want to really expand that. So that's been our focus, actually, over the last few months and the sort of the benefit we're trying to reap from quarantine, you know, we haven't been able to host guests for the last almost 10 weeks now. So in that downtime, we've been working on some upgrades to the house that we always, you know, try to keep things moving forward, keep it you kind of um, improving our guest experience, but we've been also renovating our barn. So we have ample sort of ceremony and reception sites that can be tented outdoors. But then what we're working on is renovating one of our barns into an indoor space. So hopefully that will be available for rent starting this fall, or if not, definitely for next wedding season. Very cool. And then it looks like you happen to be a farm with a swimming pool. We at are, yeah. Oh. That is definitely, um, you know, the, the main attraction. Our backyard has a indoor, or sorry, in-ground um, heated saltwater swimming pool. And, you know, we've got a hot tub and a fire pit and a grill. So that really is like the main place that people hang out all year long, actually. It's funny, we put the grill away in November and we ended up just having to take it back out again because, you know, people make a fire and they grill even in, you know, 20 degree weather out there. <laughs> and so describe the surrounding um, area. So if I come and stay with you, Although I discovered most people like to just stay on the farm, but say I <laughs> wanted to go out and do something else, where would I go and what would it, what could I see and do? Oh, absolutely. So um, you really have a variety of things. Um, in Saratoga, you've got golf courses and spas. You've got their performing arts center, which has you know concerts from you know big artists to the Philharmonic. Um, you have outdoor activities at neighboring farms or, you know, different you know, hiking. You can pick blueberries, apples, strawberries. You can, um, you know, do all sorts of things in that genre. Um, you've also got um, retail shopping, outlet shopping. You've got ski resorts of, you know, there's great New York ski resorts that are closer, but then if you drive a little bit into Vermont, you've got some amazing ski resorts like Bromley and Stratton. Um, so it really is a year round sort of smorgasbord of things to do. And then we kind of see our place as the home base to come back to. And, you know, you could spend a day, you know, on our property or many days hiking and swimming and all of that, or you can take these day trips to the various places that are all within a 15 to 30 minute drive. So, so tell me this, because when you were saying you're about picking blueberries and things like that, is there food on the farm that people can eat? Is there a farm garden or anything like that in the summer that people can eat from or? Yes, we actually, we do have a garden and um, you know, we, we kind of focus on things we like that, that our animals can eat. We try to offset, you know, feeding them healthy treats. Our goats and our chickens love fresh vegetables and our rabbits. But we also obviously think about the things our guests might want. So on a farm tour, you could go into the garden, you can get, pick a basket of vegetables. Um, and then that's, that and the eggs are really the only thing we serve on the farm because it isn't you know, at B&B, you're sort of on your own, basically. But there's some places in town that are great. And, and we always just recommend, you know, some really cool local supermarkets that you can pick up um, various things. And then also, one of our farm partners is Over East Family Farm. They raise fresh beef. And we have, um, it's like a just easy ordering system that the guests can pick, you know, steaks and, you um, T-bones and all, you know, hamburger and all of that. And if they, you know, order it for me in advance, we just have it right in the freezer waiting for them for their stay. Wow. So, 
fresh, wow. fresh local beef. Wow, that's fabulous. So what's, what's your favorite thing about having guests? You know, I, so my family's originally from New York City and we, we bought the place as a country house and being a city girl, but being able to also be a country girl because I could come up here every weekend, every summer, you know, all of my relatives and close friends joined us for summer vacations and holidays. There's something so special to being able to unplug, being able to be out in nature, get dirty, you know, learning about animals, learning about where your food coming comes from, that it, I wouldn't trade for anything. And so for me, being able to open our doors now to the next generation of families that are able to experience that time together to make memories here and, and to children that are able to learn about that and, you know, get out of the concrete jungle, that's really the most rewarding thing for me and why we wanted to do this. And, you know, I live in California, my mom lives in New York City, my sister lives in Montreal. So we're all in kind of different points of the US right now. And, you know, we weren't able to come here as often anymore. And, you know, that started actually when my dad, who has since passed away, um, got sicker. And so coming up here once he was wheelchair bound was very difficult. And, um, you know, the cold weather was difficult for him. So just, this place started to just sit open and vacant. And, you know, it's just so sad to think of that, you know? So we thought of, you know, what can we do to just open this up to the next generation of people? And that's kind of where the idea of BBVF was born. Um, and so that's my favorite, that's definitely my favorite part. And honestly, we get the cutest reviews. Last summer, actually, little kids started drawing like portraits of the farm and thank you cards, you know, about their stay and their experience with the chickens and the goats. And so we've started framing them and putting them in one of the rooms on the wall. And then once kids saw that other people's were framed, they started doing it more. And we have a guest book. And every time I come here, I read, you know, the past things that people have written. And, you know, the fact that you just hear these touching, awesome tributes to, to what this place gave them and that is just so rewarding um and and really every year we have repeat guests you know we had someone in february that has booked this for her birthday weekend with friends for the last three years yeah. you know we've got families that come back every year it's just it's so special yeah it's so so wonderful and just so people know though you do there's a farm manager or there's somebody there right also yes. who yes if you guys so, aren't there they can Help. Absolutely. Yeah. I am not, I'm your, your day-to-day -day person when you inquire about staying, when you, you know, I'm the person that those emails go to that those, you know, whether it's through Farm Say US, which is linked um, to Airbnb, or if you find us elsewhere, you get me. Um, I talk, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, answer all your questions, make sure you have all the information um, leading up to time of check-in. And then we've got a wonderful woman named Krista Sullivan, who is our manager here in Salem. So she lives here. Um, I actually grew up, her husband, um, her husband's family gave me my first job at the diner in town. I worked for his mom washing dis dishes and he's actually the sheriff here in town. So um, we've got, you know, Krista is kind of our day-to-day -day person that is helping you check in, you know, answering all your questions or helping you find things. And she's as available as you need her to be. You know, she can disappear and you never hear from her. Or if you need her, she's there. Um, and then you also have, you know, a general maintenance man, um, Steve, who is sort of our kind of overall, you know, making sure the farm is sort of, and the house is running properly. So if there's any issues, he's there and he's actually part of the fire department. So it's helpful if there's any issues in that regard. Um, and then we've got Katie, who's our farm manager. So she's the one that actually comes twice a day and, and takes care of the animals. And she'd be the person that you would get the farm tour from. Um, and, and then there's just people that just work, you know, day to day on the farm and, you know, other kind of friends of BBVF, as we like to call them. And so Again, our guests can engage with those people or not, and they use a separate driveway, and the place is vast, so you never have to see them if you don't want to, but if you want to get a taste of, of you know, the workings of, of 
everything and the goings on, then, you know, they're there to interact with. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I think that's, I mean, I have a wonderful vision of it now and I've gone through the slideshow already. So I know all the beautiful shots of your place. So I just want to thank you so much for telling us a little bit about BBVF. And I hope that um, anybody listening to this will want to book your place. So thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to, to talk about it. And you know, we joined Farmstay USA back in 2016 when we opened yeah. and it's been fantastic. Yeah. And I think it's such a great idea um, you know, to offer this kind of resource for people. And I know right now, um, you know, COVID has has hit us all pretty hard, whether you're, you know, on a farm or not, it's it's a tough time, but hopefully things start to open up in a little bit, a, a farm stay could be the perfect vacation. You know, you can't get on a plane, but you can find a farm near you that's a drive away and, and grab your family and, and go and have a safe kind of, you know, COVID safe vacation. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Sarah. I really appreciate it. Of and, course. Um, thank you guys. Okay. So great talking to you. Thanks.